अच्छा जी इस पर लिखा है जी के कनेडी बाबू को गोली मारी गई थी 200 हंड्रेड यार्ड थिंक इज वहाँ पर तो नहीं होगी खज आर थिंक रोड पर ही लगी थी शायद ये इधर बीच में लगी थी इशारे पे हैं यही इशारा था मेरे ख्याल से यहीं पर लगी होगी क्या कहते हैं या तो ये इशारा था या ये इशारा था टू हंड्रेड यार्ड अब मुझे पता नहीं है कितना होता है ये भी हो सकता है ये इधर कोने पे लगी हो या वो पीछे उन्होंने जो ऑरेंज से लगाए हुए हैं पिछले साल से वो उनसे सड़क नहीं ठीक हुई क्या पता वहाँ हुआ हो अमेरिका Whether it's the greatest country in the world is up for political debate, but for travelers, this is hands down the greatest country for road trips. In my eight years in the U.S., I've explored 42 states, had more than 300,000 miles of road trips, and countless unforgettable experiences. Now, I'll be sharing with you one of the longest and most exciting road trips across the country: a full loop from coast to coast and back. With more than a month on the road, an experience that will take us through some of the most incredible landscapes and cities in the world. Join the Kanaba Doge Boys as we travel from one of the largest super volcanoes to the deepest canyons on Earth, from bustling cities to roaring waterfalls and desolate peaks, from alpine lakes to the most iconic coastlines in the world. Subscribe and become a member of our community of travel enthusiasts. Our Kanaba Doge Kafla, and tag along for a journey of a lifetime. The Great American Road Trip. So far, we've covered 3,100 miles. We left our homes in Oregon, went straight to Lake Tahoe, passed through Death Valley in Vegas, visited the Grand Canyon. Peed at the world's best preserved meteor impact site, explored the famed San Antonio River Walk in Texas, and saw the emergence of millions of bats in Austin. Today is our last day exploring Texas. Tomorrow, we're leaving the Lone Star State and continuing on our coast-to-coast -coast road trip. Since we only have one day in Dallas, we just want to check out some sights and get a vibe of the city. But before we can head out for sightseeing, we need to stop at a laundromat. It's day six of our journey, so we need to wash our clothes before we can continue. I took advantage of the free time while our clothes were getting done to transfer all of the files from our trip so far into my hard drive and clear up some space for the upcoming adventures. While our laundry got done, we looked up some things to check out in Dallas. Out of the countless options from Google, we decided to check out a park where we could see the Dallas skyline. Some place called the HP Village, which is basically the Dallas version of Rodeo Drive, and a memorial of some dude named JFK that got shot in the head. First up, we're going to HP Village. At the time, I thought it was the HP printer dudes that made this copy of Rodeo Drive here in Dallas. But I found out later that HP stood for Highland Park. Basically, Highland Park Village is the premier luxury shopping and lifestyle experience in Dallas. Vivid fashion boutiques to exquisite dining. This is the high-end part of town. We've already spent fifteen thousand dollars on this trip, so we're not looking to buy anything. And to be honest, besides the nice cars in the parking lot, it wasn't all that special. So far, Dallas has just been meh, but maybe the next spot will change how I feel. We're heading to Clyde Warren Park.
5.2 acre public park in downtown Dallas. The park opened in 2012 and it's named for Clyde Warren, the young son of billionaire Kelsey Warren, who donated $10 million to the development of the park. $10 million for this shit? To the pigeons that shit gold? I'm sorry, but something sounds shady about this. See, that's the problem right there. Why the fuck would you pay any man named James to build shit? Alejandro, Gustavo, Diego, Jose, Santiago. Those are the names you trust to build things. James sounds like the guy you call when you've got problems with the IRS. Anyway, this is the Muse Family Performance Pavilion, where they have events every now and then. Honestly, Dallas is just not that exciting in the city. Yes, we could spend a few hundred dollars on nice food or rooftop bars or some other city activities, but it's just not worth it. We'd rather do that somewhere more fun. It all looks and feels so bland that I didn't even feel like putting in much of an effort to make better videos. Texas in general is just so boring. No mountains, no good beaches, even the cities here are just average. No wonder real estate is so cheap here. It seems the most exciting thing that happened in Texas was a headshot in 22nd, 1963, John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States, was assassinated while riding in a presidential motorcade 200 yards away from this memorial. Hundreds of suggestions for a memorial tribute poured into Dallas within months of the assassination. Noted American architect and Kennedy family friend Philip Johnson was selected as a designer for a monument for the city of Dallas. His unique concrete structure took the form of an open tomb and symbolized the freedom of President Kennedy's spirit. Okay, I'll say this. Texas has good food. They've got big trucks and big guns. They have high speed limits and cowboy hats. And I like all of that, I really do. But that's as far as it goes. The whole state is just a D minus at best. Honestly, if we didn't have to come here to meet our family and friends, we would have skipped over this whole state. Unfortunately, every time I've done a coast-to-coast -to -coast tour, I've had to stop here for a few days. Yes, I've been to the lakes and the water parks and some great restaurants and rooftops and whatnot. But as much as I try not to, I always dread coming here. Because I don't think that, that was a road that road by Lagiti Shahid. Yeah, the beach may lagidi sharebe. Eh? Yeah, you shall have a little girl saying, but like you. Kill get there. Tani of girls. Yeah, the yeah, Shara, the yeah, yeah, Shara, the two hundred yards of Mujapatani, a kitna, the yebi also, the yea, the conepe legio. Ya wo pichono, the orange sail, the guy, a pitchless sal, the ones, the Saragni Tiku, yeah, after a long and honestly boring day, we gave up and decided to go have some shisha with Marboy. Chima's smoke rings are probably the most exciting thing we've seen today. Tomorrow, we're heading out to Houston to have some food at my aunt's house and then finally getting the fuck out of Texas. 